for most of you last semester, we built a sump pump, both uh, via machining and in SOLIDWORKS. And for the rest of you, it was a year earlier, for those of you who went on, went on exchange. So you probably haven't seen the original uh, sump pump. This was the original one we designed. It was round um, and uh, fabricated it as well before we ended up with the uh, fancier version. Right? If we do a section view, we can see that as well. So this is called a slider crank. Um, we, we, we're spending a lot of time this semester looking at classic mechanisms like slider cranks and for bar linkages. And one of the reasons uh, for that is it is a one degree of freedom. So I'm going to switch this over into a partially dead LCD, so it's a little bit hard without the keyboard to uh, add things. So, so what do we know? So we sometimes call it mobility. And we see the mobility is one, or the degree of freedom is one. And really what we're talking about here is the minimum number of inputs equals one. Right? You can think of cases where maybe you want to put two or more, but the minimum is one. So um, I could either be I could either be uh, driving the crank here or the slider, right? The piston. Oops, too many lines are getting towards the dead part of the screen at the bottom. Oh, too low. All right, well, I will try to I'll see if I can uh, fix that. It'll be another couple weeks before the new screens come in. Anyway, what I'm trying to do is just say the pistons can move up and down. So it's one is one degree of freedom. So we learned an equation called Grubler's equation. And Grubler's equation. And this is just a case for a planar problem. There's a lot of exceptions where it doesn't work. If you have um, a, a parallel links or redundant links and things like that. But the equation we saw is F equals 3 times the number of links, which is N, minus 1. JP, remember, were primary joints, and J sub H are higher order. So let's see if we can uh, relate that to here. So what's uh, grounded? We have the ground in a couple spots. We have the ground off this flywheel, right? And we can look at this spot here as being grounded as well. I'll try to stay off the dead area of my screen, okay? Now we need to create uh, some links. So we said the convention is the ground link is always one. So that's one, that's one, this is one. Then I can create a link. Let's see if I can pick up another color that shows up. I'll try purple here. And this link here, connecting uh, these two pins, I'm going to call link two. Okay, and that's our crank. This coupler here, or con rod, connecting rod, is three. Our piston is four. Uh, again, the convention is would be the ground is one, but the other ones, two, three, and four, we can put in any order uh, that we choose. The next thing we do is we label all the joints. So I have the links done, and we counted four links. So n equals four. Now let's look at the primary joints. So primary joints are things like pins, and those we letter. So right here, a little bit hard to see, that one right there is A. The pin joint is pinned right here. That's B. It's pinned right here. That's C. And then in here, I'll call D, uh, basically it slides. It's prismatic. So A, B, C, D, that's four. And so there's four primary links. J, P is four. Higher order links would be gears, it would be cam and followers, things like that. 
uh, there's none in this example. So uh, that would be zero. And again, we look at this and we know there's one degree of freedom of mobility is one because we know if I just simply turn the crank or simply push the piston, uh, I can move the mechanism. But we'll, we will plug it in anyway into our formula since this is a review. So we have three and it's four minus one minus two times JP, which says four, four primary links minus zero. So we have nine minus eight is one degree of freedom, and so it means we need one actuator. And again, it's why we like slider cranks for bar linkages as well, because there is only one degree of freedom. Now, if we want to create the kinematic uh, diagram to go with this, that's all simplification, right? So we have here, we have some sort of ground. It's at S link one. Try to straighten that out here. That's me not writing that well. This is should be straight line is link two. This is link three. Is in here. This is four. Similarly, if we go to label our joints, switch it back to red. We said this is A. We call this B. This one here is C, and then D we said slides, so I should put the ground back there. So this over here is typically called, I'm jumping as I get towards the edge, I don't think that is going to work. Try it again. See if I write a little bit higher, maybe it'll work. This is called the kinematic representation. It's not working at the edge, but it's a kinematic representation, also known as the kinematic diagram. So again, it's just a uh, simplification. there. Oh, my screen does not work there. <laughs> it's a simplification of the slotted crank. So that is it for slotted crank. We'll look at a four bar as well.